Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jocksay here. Back with another unboxing, and today we've got three, well, technically we have two shoes, and then we have some pretty cool apparel that I wanted to drop for you guys. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. I don't know if we should start. Let's start with the apparel. Let's start with the apparel. Let's put the kicks down and start with the apparel. So this week is the US Open in good old New York, and it's at a place called Winged Foot, and Nike is celebrating with a very special shirt that calls back to the one and only El Tigre, uh, Tiger Woods, and uh, it is the Tiger logo shirt. So for those that follow Tiger closely, his logo has changed quite a bit over the years, and his original logo was this like yin and yang sign that you see right here. It's actually, it's pretty cool actually. Um, so they're dropping this shirt and it's dropping this Friday. So if you're into golf, if you're into El Tigre, uh, it either drops, and actually I think it drops tomorrow, not on Friday. I think it drops Thursday. Uh, you can get this shirt, which I think is really dope. Has the old school El Tigre logo on there. And uh, just a quick note to the folks over at Nike that are watching this. Uh, we'd love to get that logo on a hat for a little bit of retro action popping off there. So uh, if you hear what I'm saying, uh, love the shirt, but we want a logo on the hat. Appreciate that. All right, uh, let's move, keep it moving. So the the US Open at is, is at this place called Winged Foot. That's the name of the course in New York. And of course, Nike is diving deep into it, and that's where they got the inspiration for this pair, which is the Air Max 97, which is their latest when it comes to lifestyle versions of golf shoes. I really love that Nike does this, and actually, if you look at Nike's website, you'll see that most of their golf shoes are actually regular shoes that have been converted to golf shoes so like you have the 97 you have the zoom infinity tour which is based on a run shoe uh, you have the roche there's a couple other ones as well that i can't remember off the top of my head but basically if you look at nike's golf shoes that they're offering right now they're all based on the last of a regular shoe that's been converted into a golf shoe with the exception of one which is i believe the victory tour shoe but anyway so Checking these out, uh, Air Max 97, uh, one of my favorite models that they've ever been made, was, uh, has always been a classic, will always be a classic. So they're using this like light turquoise and this dark blue, which are colors that, are, that come from winged foot. Now, Nike can't officially call this winged foot after the course, so they're calling it flying shoe. But if you look at the details here around the Rand, you'll see that it is basically a winged foot, almost like, uh, I don't know if it goes that are familiar with Greek mythology, you know, Achilles, how he had the wings on his feet. That's basically what these look like. It's like a winged, quote unquote, foot with a Nike swoosh on it. And so you have that going along the Rand here all the way around. Now, my one concern with these is that this Rand feels like it's canvas. And I know I mentioned this the last time I unboxed a pair of these, but with it being canvas, I feel like if you play early in the morning or if you get into some dirt, that that dirt is just going to cake up here on this canvas. It's gonna be pretty hard to get out. Again, can't confirm that, but just kind of where my mind is right now. I haven't had a chance to play because of the current pandemic. I haven't been able to get out and actually play in a pair of these yet, but when I do, I'm definitely gonna test it out and see how that weathers in that uh, sort of play, whether it gets dirty and how easily it can be cleaned. Now, these have the integrated traction, so you don't have to worry about spikes, so these work on and off the course. You see they have that same stripe with the light blue and the dark blue, and then they have the Nike logo there as well in gold, kind of, again, representing the winged foot thing there. Uh, I really love the interior of these they have that same sort of striped system there and then they have a nike golf ball here on the inside with a heart and the nike swoosh on there as well pull tab is blue um and overall it's, it's really just a cool execution on the air max 97 um this is one of the funner 
golf shoes that they have. The other ones seem a little bit more serious, but then they have this one, which kind of gives me the vibe. It's a little more fun. It's not as serious as the rest of the shoes, and I think it's also a little more fashionable than the rest of the shoes if we're going to keep it a full buck, uh, but that's just me. Uh, dude, I really love that Nike logo there. That is really cool. That's really dope. That looks really cool, even though no one will ever see that on the court. Well, I guess technically when you swing and that foot comes up, someone will see it if they're behind you, but I would rather, I, hopefully they're not looking at my feet and they're actually looking at where my ball is traveling because I got good. Oh, that's a lie. That's a lie. It's a it's all off to the side. Anyway, all right, next page. Oh, uh, as, as in addition to the 97, there is an Air Jordan 5, there's a Roche, uh, and there's a in Zoom Infinity that they're gonna do as well. So they have a whole line that is inspired by Winged Foot um, and the US Open. There's, there's even an Air Jordan 5 in there as well that looks really nice. And speaking of the Air Jordan 5, uh, I have one of my favorite golf shoes here. Now, this is quickly becoming my favorite golf shoe right now. I didn't expect it. I didn't think that this would be like a top tier golf shoe, but it just has turned into something very, very special. And this is the Air Jordan 5 Low Golf. This is the Grape colorway. So this colorway released a week, maybe two weeks ago, and I finally got my hands on my pair, ordered them, got them off of the Nike app, and they came through. As you see, they have the black nubuck here on the upper. Um, then they have, this is the grape colorway, obviously. Now these, the five that looks like these, they're, they're also inspired by grape, like the grape colorway of the Air Jordan 5, but you see it like on the flip side, but it's also it's in white. It doesn't look exactly like this, like the black grape, but it's a different version of grape, if that makes sense. I'll put it up here on the screen so you can, guys can kind of see. So it's not exactly grape as you can see, but it has those grape vibes is what they're calling. They're calling it grape ice when this is just traditional grape. Anyway, just thought I'd bring that up for those that are looking to cop the fives because they drop as well on Thursday. Um, and I believe they won't be on Thursday. They've already been available to members, but you can get them now on Thursday when they drop for the general public. But just the regular Air Jordan 5 switched over to a golf shoe. Well, the low Air Jordan 5 switched over to the golf shoe. You still have the mesh netting. Uh, quick note, the mesh is sealed off here, obviously, because if you're playing in the water, you don't want the water to seep through there. You still have the netting on the tongue and on the inside. I love the purple hit there and the little bit of turquoise right there. I just think that looks really great on this shoe. Uh, really great job. You still have a little bit of reflectivity in the tongue, which is always great. And then you have the Air Jordan hit there on the reverse of the tongue. One of the things that I, I love the most about the Air Jordan 5 is that they put these ball markers here instead of the traditional lace stays. So you have Jordan ball markers, which I think is really dope. And you can just magnet and put them back right here on the shoe because they're magnetized. So it makes it much, much harder to lose them, which is something that I always do. I always lose my ball markers, but having them there obviously is going to make a big difference. Now, you can't really wear these outside of wearing these on the golf course. I, I guess technically you could if you wanted to. This is a rubber outsole here. This is plastic, but there's rubber here, but it's a really hard rubber. It almost feels like plastic. I would, feel, I would consider it more of a rubber plate as opposed to a rubber outsole. If you wanted to, for some odd reason, to take these off, you could take these off and walk around in it, but I would just say, just get yourself a regular Air Jordan 5 low instead of doing that because it just doesn't make sense to pay the extra money that you have to pay to get these, which is 220 with the spikes uh, or the cleats and you wanna wear these regular. So again, buy the regular Air Jordan 5 low. Don't waste your money on buying these and taking off the cleats if you just wanna wear them outside. If you wanna play in these and stunt in some Jordan golf shoes, well, that's a whole different story. Um, I wanna do a video later on talking about Jordan and golf and what they're doing and how Jordan golf shoes have become a thing. It was a long time when lifestyle shoes weren't really considered workable or performance enough for golf. And now you see that every brand is doing it. And Jordan brand, I really feel like they are, they are the ones that led the way. Let me give a shout out to Nike Golf as well. They have some dope lifestyle silhouettes as well. But I feel like Jordan kind of really led the way with this and really broke it into the sneakerhead world and made it a cooler thing and got it into, into the eyes of more people. So just real quick keep recap, Air Jordan 5 Low Golf, great colorway. 
Then we have the Air Max 97 winged foot uh, for the US Open, which is happening this weekend. If you're a golf guy, you know that already. Integrated traction, so you can wear these off the court. These have regular cleats, so you can't wear these off the court. But again, inspired by winged foot and the last hole, the, uh, the canopy that is at the last hole. That's where you get these stripes from. You'll see that if you watch golf this weekend, which you should, obviously. And then we have some old school love for El Tigre, for Tiger, for Tiger Woods. Uh, with the old school logo right there. This is kind of like his yin and yang logo that they're bringing back for this. Anyway, uh, I just want to give you guys just a quick look. As always, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. But hey, that's only if you really want to. As always, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Peace.